The Netflix true crime documentary series, The Trials of Gabriel Fernandez, is sure to get your blood boiling within the first 10 minutes. And then the aggravation does not stop there. The Netflix limited series documentary takes a look at the tragic death of an eight-year-old boy at the hands of his mother and her boyfriend. But then it goes further and it examines the system that failed him. Just as a warning, this documentary does have a lot of trigger points in there. And so it may be something that you just can't watch. I mean, I don't know what you have in your past, but I know that just this sensitive topic about children and abuse really will set people off. It set me off and it made me want to just grab my baseball bat, a pitchfork, and maybe a torch and go ham on somebody. Some of the imagery in this is graphic, but I think more so the worst part is the descriptions that come. They are from medical professionals, from law enforcement, just in court testimony, and that's where it really, I think, will get you. I was unaware of this case, so it was a horrifying experience to view. But for anybody familiar with the Gabriel Fernandez case, it may reignite some righteous fury within you. Not only does the documentary take a look at the mom and her boyfriend, as it should, but then it dives deeper and it looks at teachers and social workers and child protective services and even law enforcement. And just to see how, while some things were done right, a lot was done wrong and that ended up harming the child more than anything. The documentary has six episodes, each are about an hour. It's it's a quick watch, but it's hard to watch. I mean, it is, it's one of these things that you may not want to, and then if you start it, you may need to take a little time in between because of just the heaviness of what you're experiencing. But what I found myself doing is I was binging it because it was so intriguing, and especially because I didn't know about the case. And so I wanted to learn more, and I was horrified each time something new was revealed or some behavior was left unattended or unanswered, and it just got me more and more mad. And then I wanted to find out, well, was there a resolution to this? What happened? Did anybody get punished for this? And so that's what kept me watching, but I totally understand that this may be something you need to space out a little bit and give yourself some breathing room. I really like that there are a lot of interviews in this as well. Now, some people and some agencies did decline to be interviewed, but for the most part, we get a very well-rounded story. I mean, we get it from family members, we get it from teachers, we get it from child protective services and even medical personnel and lawyers as well and the DA and the investigators in this. And so we really get a good picture of everything that was going on in the Gabriel Fernandez case. And just when I thought the documentary was over, it gut punched me once more and just revealed something that I was unaware of. And then, I mean, literally my jaw was open, just kind of gaping at what I was watching on screen because it was horrifying to see this and to learn about this in light of everything that we had just watched. And then it ends with something that is well-meaning, I'm sure, but came across just in poor taste. The documentary is asking us to trust somebody or trust something that they just said was untrustworthy. And so it just, it felt a little weird to me. It felt maybe disingenuous. I don't know exactly the right term maybe to use, but it was off-putting because it was like, well, hey, here's this message to make everybody feel better. Or maybe it's the, you know, get out of the liability type of thing. Well, we've just shown all of this terrible stuff. And just so you know, if you're watching this, you should do this if you experience this or know of somebody experiencing it. But it, it all makes sense if you see it because the message that we were left with kind of made me mad. There's no sex or nudity, but there is some profanity and terrible imagery as well as some gruesome and graphic descriptions of violence and just terrible things done to children. I give the trials of Gabriel Fernandez four and a half out of five couches. Are you familiar with this case? What are your thoughts on the outcome, especially where protection services are involved? If you enjoyed this review, please give it a like. Also, don't forget to share and subscribe. I'm Chris. This is Movies and Munchies. Thanks for couching with me.